God has created each one of you with gifts inside of you for his glory. All of you here today are not here by accident. Um, Dorian's been praying. So many people have been praying for this retreat. You are here today by divine appointment. You're not here accidentally. There's a reason you're here today. Maybe you don't even want to be here. Maybe you're thinking, oh, this is just another ladies' retreat. This is not just another ladies' retreat. God wants to encounter your heart today. He's got something for you here today if you will open up your heart and receive from, from him. I am very passionate about women using their gifts for God. It, that's one of the things you'll find at my website at vetchance.net. I believe you've got gifts inside of you that God wants to use for his glory. God doesn't just want to use men. And Rick, you know, he wants to use you, and he has used him. I've been amazed at what this man has done. You've got an awesome husband. But God, and not just men and women, but children and teenagers, we've all got gifts that God is wanting to use right now, not later, because time is so short. And maybe you have never used your gift. Maybe you have never stepped into the purpose that God has for you. And God is saying, now, today is the day. I want you to start stepping into that purpose. I want you to start stepping into those gifts. Because God wants to use you right now. He's got a work that he's, want, he's wanting to do through the earth. And he needs every single one of us to do those things. I, you can find out more about the gifts at my website at BethJones.net. Now, Dorian and Karen and I... We all have the same heartbeat for women. It's just God has connected us. We met on Facebook, and yet there, we all have that passion for women and, and that, that belief that, that you have great value in the sight of God and that he wants to use you. The Bible says that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. No one else has your eyes. No one else has your nose. No one else has your, your mouth, your smile, your laughter. No one else has your personality, your DNA, your intelligence. There is nobody else like you. There has never been anyone like you. And there never will be anyone like you. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. And this is on your handout, too. You are a one-of-a-kind masterpiece by God the Potter. Some of you women here today, I want to see a show of hands. How many of you women here today love shoes? This is a silly question, I know, but. <laughs> well, I love them, but I don't own a lot of them. I have some shoes, but, and I love to buy them. Several years ago, I saw a movie called In Her Shoes. And it's not a movie I would necessarily recommend because it's got some language in it. It's got some inappropriate scenes. But it was a chick flick that I went to see with one of my friends. And in one of the scenes, the sister of Rose Feller, Maggie, came to her place to stay a while. Um, Maggie, Rose had been kicked out of the house by her stepmom. And she came to her sister's house to stay, and her sister had this closet full of shoes, top to bottom, ceiling to floor, all around shoes, most of them hardly ever worn. And she said to her sister, look, if you're not going to wear them, don't buy them. Leave them for someone who's going to get something out of them. And Rose said, I got something out of them. When I feel bad, I like to treat myself. Clothes never look good. Food just makes me fatter. Shoes always fit. <laughs> you know, you seen it, huh? Shoes always fit. Are you walking in the shoes that God has for you right now? Have you been walking in those shoes? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you need to be? Do you know who God has called you to be? Do you know the purpose that God has for your life? Have you ever discovered your purpose? Do you know your why and your specific unique purpose? Do you know what your spiritual gifts are, your talents and your skills? Do you know what your big dream is?